Hello and welcome back to Imperator Rome. My name is Venturis and welcome to my Super 8 here. At the moment we just promoted to regional power. We're no longer a local power. And well, I was looking at the map looking for other regional power. And as you can see I only think Rome is the only... It's only that's a regional power. Gosh is like a major power but at this area well there's only one there's regional power over here so I guess we could try and get an alliance over that with them but they wouldn't like me we have too many relationships and, and I kind of don't mind because if you look at the diplomatic situation of my country uh, let's take a look at that we got we had, we are guaranteeing a few guys but they're also in a diplomatic defensive alliance so nobody dares to attack me the only problem comes when it's like i need to uh, declare war to this guy Uh, this guy's a bad example, but let's say this guy. They won't help me. That's kind of the only thing. I don't have any allies anymore. Ooh, Katash does have... I guess we sh should try and get... Well, he's a major power, so... Well, that's going to be the difficult thing. Tribal vessel, vessel. He got like a lot of vessel subjects. That's what's making him so strong. So I guess I should get some subjects as well. And well, I'm not quite sure which one to do first, but I think the biggest thing is getting my aggressive expansion down. So for now, let's um, pause the game. I... Ooh, some guys left the league as well. And we got like another one who wants to give us some money. Biggest problem is my fort maintenance. I definitely don't think I need a fort in this area. So let's just screw that one. That's good to save us a ducat. And let's see, because we got like one of this country as well. We don't need it, although it does give happiness. There's like seven. Mm, yeah, hard choice, hard choice. You give commerce. I could promote you guys. Hard decision, hard decision. There's no trade coming in here. So I would even lose money. Alright. Yes, for now. I still have got the. Uh, and we get 10 stability, stability increase. But there's one more thing. We have an unused trade route. And we definitely going to use that one. Uh, because I want to... Hmm. I was saying I got, was going to use it to make people more happy. But there's nothing I can trade it with. That's quite annoying. So we got, still got our troops. You guys in there. I guess you guys should go to that section as well. Let me get that in the face. Curious, alright. Now for the last thing, we kind of need to let the royal subject drop. So we change the governor policies to well, local autonomy that way they become a little bit happier. Because there are like a lot of people not happy. 
And that's going to cost me kind of killing for me at the moment. Because this whole piece of land is not contributing to me. And I could do with state happiness, we could try that one, but we should go with the biggest one at the moment. There are so many, many countries in here, or cities. Where's that one? I guess this one. Yeah, let's do that. Because I really need something, some way to make them more, a little bit more happy. I wish we had a way with straight route. Let's take a look at our decisions. Religions. Religion is. We cannot sacrifice. Yeah, we lack the. I don't mind. Well, let's unpause. Let's do it a little bit slow. Uh, ask for military access. Why? Because we are in war with somebody. You are at war with that little guy. Hmm. Uh, no, I'm not going to help them win a war. I'm not going to accept trade routes. At the moment, we still need to destroy a few more forts. I kind of don't want that one because they're all kind of stationed. Pretty good over the area. I still can't build any roads yet, so that's not going to happen. Alright, so for now, we are just going to wait a little bit, build up some more civic power, and like one thing I wanted to do the decisions I want to form the Greater Iberia it's kind of annoying because if you see I got like most of it only need a few more provinces and it will give me a lot of benefits Local population row, import rust plus one, more spiritual, more oratory power, and spirit gain five free investments. So that, that's kind of what I want. So, are you still. Am I still protecting you? You are at war. Yeah, I still guarantee you guys, I kind of want to drop that charade. Because... I'm no longer in the defensive league. I can demand tribute, that's interesting. Threaten to war, I can fabricate a claim. Guess I don't have to do that. I don't know longer, I don't want to guarantee you. Revoke guarantee, oh, we have to wait. Let's wait. The 6th of February. Is there anything we can use our trade route for? Nope, don't. And I know I am already. That's not Only at ball 50 it will give you severe penalties. Hmm, that's interesting. I'm way below 50. You guys got, got a lot of prestige. That's kind of scary. And why is that one in jail? Just a little bit of corruption. Right, so we've been the 6th of 
January we are going to reveal. And I guess we have to wait again. Let us move our army up. Let's speed it up a little bit. We should and might need to wait to get a little bit more manpower. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Alright, let's see how our loyalty is because I kind of want to get loyally up in this province. I just want to build stuff here. I want to invest in you. So they are druid and they are like Kalikin. Uh, my main is Austrian. Interesting. I guess that's like a little different because the color is the same. <laughs> that's why you guys don't like me. That too few people. Wait a second. Another building, all right. So I can build the entire province is disloyal. All right, so they are still disloyal. Can we get any laws set to make them more loyal? Show laws, centralization, settlement focus. All the clans are loyal will cost me some stability. Throughout history, our people have wandered from place to place. Well, definitely not bureaucratic focus. All clans are local, monthly centralization. Running a country has become much more simple for the Council of Chieftains. I kind of don't mind having the national interesting interesting absolute law national tribe happens is it that is set at the moment right to be heard that's also interesting Provincy loyalty, so I kind of want to have something like this the local dynasty. This is kind of the problem max loyalty minus 20, power to the might. We can no longer trust local leaders to act with their best interests in our nations. At heart, sending a loyal overseer to watch certain actions. Local dynasty give dominant families our blessings to rule the best interests. All in right. Promotion cost. I really looking for something to help me get the loyalty down and I have a feeling there's only like one thing I cannot change you cannot change the government of your capital provinces you cannot change the government so is there any way the loyalty is going up but the unrest is also going down So the war exhaustion is not helping. I guess we just have to wait until we get like some kind of thing that will help us. Who is she? She's a member of the Magni family. I don't mind. Get her out of my land. So for now we have no kind of way to 
fix the loyalty until we get all of them. Uh, so I guess that's going to be going to hit my stability a lot. So we're definitely not going to do that. Can we declare war to you? Yeah, that's because we got no cost belly, but that will draw these two into the war. I guess we are going to try this. Open and fabricate a claim. And we can try it one more thing. Promoting local investments. That's not helping me. Because I wonder how many troops they will have. Right. You guys move up as well. Why are the two are you two little tribal lords? Alright. Uh, see you declare no, I forgot I did fabricate a claim, did I not? So you got like two cities, six cohorts, and you got four cohorts. And how much does this guy has nine cohorts? All right, I guess we have to do that. Declare war, take Storio. All right, let's keep the game paused. Let's first slow it down and let's take a look. Alright, so they are all kind of in a fighting spirit. Kind of interesting because I don't see any troops here. Stability. I do not want to lose stability. That's and Pretty well. Don't mind those. You guys go after them. Let's see how we are. Yeah, we should be able to do this. Pretty nice. And like I say, one more every episode. We we'll do pretty, pretty well. Ooh, we lost the researcher. I still kind of find it strange that after you uh, research everything, there is nothing to research anymore. Is there any trade route we can do? Nope, not yet. Taking the city is going to cost us a lot of troops. 
And as you guys know, I don't have that much manpower left. But I really want to form the Great Iberium. It's not the achievement yet, but it's kind of the start if you create that. And we are kind of winning war after war, so that's not a bad thing, but I kind of want to have my main army in the fight as well. Kind of dangerous what I'm doing now. Playing at this high speed, and having a 16k army next to me. All right, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Why are you moving away? Kind of strange. Yeah, as expected, they're both moving in. It's kind of pity. Losing that... That siege momentum. Oh, come on. Give me that one. Eighteen thousand troops. So oh, with heavy cavalry. Oh my god, this could be a bad one. Yeah, this is a bad one. The sacking of Persia. I kind of want to have slaves. I always, already wanted that a long time ago. Gain five popularity. Let looting be gentle. Uh, Storing Freeman get killed. Tribal chief. None shall hide. I don't get any. There's no way my army is going to be there on time. So. Restoring reputation. <laughs> Alright, maybe I shouldn't have looted that. The superior lose 50. Why are we unclear how she lost? Their approval in the first place. Restoring reputation. Hmm. I know we'll aid her. Alright, let's take a look at this. You guys are going that way. So let me intercept you. Over there, I should be able to kick your asses. A little bit of terrain disadvantage. But the biggest problem at the moment is my map power pool. Alright, I guess we are going to win this. Alright, so we are victorious. I, I kind of only want this land at the moment. So let's sue this and take a lot of money. 
that way. Oh, they're not going to do that. Mm, that's kind of pity. Sue for peace. Should just soon. I don't really want that. So. Comes friend with who? Who are you? Oh yes, you who can be friends. We still got two disloyal provinces. Time be on time. That's kind of annoying. They weren't on time. Oh man, I really, really, really. Come on, beat them, beat them. Come on, I can't have this. Who are you? She's a war chief. Yeah, we really need to. There's only one cohort fighting. Definitely going after them. Stop wiping that. Pause. One of our smaller tribes has left. So you settle down. Hmm, we will take our vengeance. So we captured some enemies, and I kind of want to go right after them. Get this war party in here as well. I cannot, that's kind of annoying. back and have at least get us some manpower again national manpower focus since an output general natural slave manpower recovery that's the one I need at the moment uh, do we have something that will help us no nope, we don't I wonder if I could white piece some of these guys out. Very high, very high. No, they are all. I guess there's no way of winning this at the moment because I have no manpower left, and that's kind of the biggest problem. Let's fix this little thing. Let's slow down a piece because. I would need to get out of this alive. Um, yes, what are we going to do? I hate those disputes. Spirit gets like money, I kinda need that. 
All right, so he's coming in for the attack again with 11,000 and I'm not going to be able to kind of fix that. Suggest. I kind of want to have a white piece. But even that, something they don't want. That's kind of annoying. So you guys don't want a white piece. We're going to pull back a little bit. And maybe I should have done this sooner. But Merc up. definitely pulling back because they already got 15k that's quite annoying the biggest problem is I don't have an army to money to get like to do like anything Because there's no way I can do this. So I guess for now we'll have to pause the game and thank you all for watching. And I guess we need to try and figure this out in the next episode. How to fix this problem. Because there's no way I'm going to peace out and give them anything. That's definitely not something I want to do. So I'm definitely going to try and find a way to fix the problem of manpower. I hope you guys all enjoyed this and well, see you at the next video. Thank you for watching.